Welcome back to the Trifecta Airsoft Podcast. I'm E-Rock, your host. Thanks for being here. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, so you never miss another podcast. I want to tell you about the next giveaway we're doing. It is Friday, August 12th. If you would like to join that giveaway, join our Patreon or purchase a ticket through our website, trifectaairsoft.com, and you will be entered into that giveaway. And what is the winner getting? The... Echo 1 PSR Sniper with a scope, 3x9 scope on it, a scope cam, also an action cam with a case and accessories, a 5,000 count bottle of BBs, and a bunch of swag. Join before August 12th. Join our Patreon or get a ticket and you will be entered. Thanks for being here. Let's get into the podcast. It should be live on YouTube now. So everyone out there, welcome. To podcast number seventy or ninety-seven, sorry, with uh, Tryhards Airsoft, uh, the bosses, okay, the bosses of Tryhards Airsoft that started it, uh, Laz and Tia. Tia, Ruth. yes, it's Ruth, but everybody knows me as Tia. So yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Hell yeah. And these guys, if you guys that are uh, going to be tuning in here in a second, and uh, anyone that listens to this or watches this later um these guys have a ton of experience in airsoft i don't know 18 years right uh yeah. in airsoft started in in the well yours is three but you know still that's a it's a long time we got uh you guys started up in the north now you're in miami start a big team down there uh you collaborate with uh the miami infidels kentucky infidels with Toby and Steve and Robo, who I just did a podcast with, uh, you know, a few days ago. And, um, yeah, awesome people, man. And then, uh, oorah to Toby, my brother. Yeah. My brother Jarhead out there. And, uh, so you guys are hosting your seventh event next weekend, right? Yes. Tell us about that. Our seventh event here in Miami, um, Drug Wars 2, hence what you see in front of you. Disclaimer, this is flour. <laughs> no, no officers calling me, no word of a lie. I did post us making this stuff, and no word of a lie. The very next day, I did receive a phone call. <laughs> I swear to God, I was what? nervous. Was like, dude, it's flour. We made it sure. I, I said fake flour, fake drugs, everything I could. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> Here's the flower, guys. Guys. <laughs> guys. If you, if you see what my my headquarters looks like right now, it literally looks like a trap house. It's bad. I'm sure. We, we thought about making a skate. We, we're we're going to have our men with no shirts on, putting the stuff together. It's going to be hilarious, but I think it was going to be too far. Yeah. But let's go back to the event. Basically, it's our seventh event here in Miami. We've done, we go over the top. We don't do the regular Milsom events because those are the big boys. Those are for, you know, the hardcore. We like going a little bit over the top. We've done main different events where people can, you know, come into it and not know how to play that well, but have a blast to win it. You know, right. instead of six, seven hours straight, you only play for two hours and a half straight. Then you have your break and you go back in for another hour and a half, two hours. Just to give them that little Milsim, push yourself, have a great time. And then we add, you know, stuff like this. And, you know, we make our own money. Where we just, you know, we play on the local field right now. We're playing at Matrix Tactical. Shout out to Matrix. And it's only about three acres. But I can guarantee you it's going to be the best three acres you've ever played on. Just because there's everybody's attitude is right. Our referees, just imagine, we'll have... Our cap just went up to 80 players. Now, 80 players on three acres seems like a lot, but at the same time, I have close to 10 referees. I don't play around with one referee, two referees. We make sure we have 10 referees. There's no arguments. There's no arguments. Right. As soon as uses their voice, we on top of it. Just to make sure <laughs> he has a good time. Because we all know how Airsoft is. Oh, you didn't call your hit. Yeah. You get a knife for dude just saying that. You know what I mean? You catch a war crime for shooting a ref. You shouldn't get a war crime. You know, I tell everybody, my, my refs are gods. Don't do it. You know, whatever they say, just fall back and have a good time. We're going to make sure you're going to have a good time. Yeah. yeah. Um, we've done seven events prior to this. Actually, we made a list of the ones we've done here in Miami. We had to reminisce. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We, um, 
We did a zombie game, Zombie Madness in 2019. We did Drug Wars Part 1 in 2019. If you look up our YouTube channel, and you'll see that we actually did a little movie from clips of Part 1. And all our games are night games because we have to do it after Matrix Tactical closes. So it usually runs from like 4 to 10 o'clock, sometimes 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. And we, have, we use night vision goggles and everything to actually make the footage. And one of my guys, Face, I don't know if you remember from the thing, he's actually a producer. So he puts the stuff together. It came out amazing. It actually came out like a trailer for part two. Oh, so shit. Here we are, three years later, finally doing part two. Hell yeah. And it's going to be pretty good. Now, after that, COVID hit. So we were supposed to do one called we After Life. After Life first. Yeah. And we canceled that because of COVID-19. And during COVID-19, we said, you know what? It's time to get back up. Everything was opening back up. We did an operation, COVID-19. Hell yeah. It was crazy. It was, that big. It was, it was that amazing. Big. Everybody had a great time. We built a laboratory out of a CQB area. We gave masks. And we gave everybody masks. Event, masks for the event. Event. Side, you just got to it. prevent. Said COVID-19, everybody had a COVID-19 mask operation. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Instead of money all over the field, we had rolls of toilet paper that you had to collect. Oh, it, shit. It was, you should have seen it. Yeah, because the toilet paper shortage. Uh, <laughs> That's awesome. The videos of people doing epic moves, running around with six or seven rolls of toilet paper, trying to shoot people, running it back to the respawn. <laughs> it was just a blast. You know, like I said, our thinking is just, let's go over the top of this. People are going to laugh their asses off if we try it. Then we had... The election. Election yeah. came around. So oh, yeah. What, what better than to do an op election 2020? Man, did we catch some shit for that? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, my God. We <laughs> if you go back, we did this in actually, what was it, 2020? 2020. If you go back and look at our Instagram and our Facebook, you see the videos we did. We had guys, because all our things, we, we don't, we, barely play our events we either role play or we ref gotcha. a lot of my play, the teams need to be even now I'll, I'll have my team members jump in we had one of my team members doubtfire actually be he was biting. Biden, and then we had jack <laughs> dress up as, as trump. trump oh that's we awesome bought, we bought a mask we had him dress up in their suits with up the in the red tie. at the event Everybody was standing by. We and it was funny because we didn't do we're not very political at all. Yeah. We just wanted like our, our caption was make airsoft fun again. Instead <laughs> of make America great again, we had yeah. to make airsoft fun again. And everybody was like, You guys are crazy for doing this. You're the reason we're splitting the country. I'm like, dude, do you, you Oh know my this? god. No, but you know what's hilarious is everybody that signed up for Biden, I had them playing for Trump. Everybody that signed up for Trump, they they came in and they found out they were playing for Biden. They were like, what oh, the hell? I said, hey, oh, that's you awesome. Told you, if you're political, don't come to this event. If you're going to cause fights, don't come to this event. Yeah. It's a blast. So once they got here, we separated them. We had Biden and Trump over here. And everybody's like, okay, the game's about to start. We have an extended limo pull up with all my, my guard. My guys played this um the Secret Service men, they all ran next to the limo, running with Shout out to the Tri-Hearts team. Shout out to the tri team for doing yeah. that. Yeah. Came running along, everybody was like, what's going on? We had the, the, um, the siren, the, 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 the narrator, I mean. The, the music going off in the background, right? The anthem. Oh, and the shit. Everybody, the limo pulls up with all my guys dressed up in Secret Service, and they open the door, Biden comes out one side, and Trump comes out the other to meet their Everybody's well, like, what is going on? Nobody knew this was happening. And when they did it, everybody's like, oh, you guys are crazy. Like, <laughs> you know, people ask and say, dude, why are you doing it? Like, for local events, I don't, you know, you usually do this to make money. I do this to right. have fun. To see how far I can push the line and make sure that everybody walks out of there having a blast, talking about it. For real. Time. And, you know, there's so many videos out there. If you guys actually look for them, you're going to, our vets are way over the top. We take them as far as we can to make sure you guys have a good time. So after election 20, oh, during 20, like the footage of it, the, the election, a lot of my guys are refing, but I also have them do press, like the press pass. Oh, yeah. So they 
recording and in the middle of a battle, they were asking the people fighting like questions, like we were war they were, interviewing. We were <laughs> interviewing them while they were shooting. Like if you watch the clips, you were gonna laugh. We were interviewing Trump. We were interviewing the first, the opening scene of the the thing. We raided the Capitol, which is actually we built oh. the Capitol in the middle of the scene. That's we awesome. Had, we had both teams raid the Capitol, and they had to find their smoke, either red or blue, whatever team you want. That was on one of the Secret Service men. And you had to search them to actually find it. To That's a, that was the first twenty minutes. So we had a hundred people rushing the Capitol to find the smoke. That Holy was just crap! Break the ice. It was like, like I said, it's epic stuff. Anybody who's been to my events always have you know come back. We sell out almost every single one of our events because we know they they know what to expect by doing it. Yeah. Yeah. So after election 2020, we went. And my wife was like, you know, what are we doing next? I got hooked on this show called uh, Money Heist, La Casa de Papel. Oh Netflix. yeah. Netflix. Why not do that? The gold. Yeah. Grace, the, the bank heist, and oh, that was some fun. Go ahead. Yeah, that's cool. She loves the show. So I said, you know what? We're doing it. We're going to have everybody dressing up in red. They wear red outfits from top to bottom, the bank robbers, with these masks. Like Squid Games. <laughs> exactly. Something like Squid Games. We have to talk about doing something like the Squid Games also. That's yeah. That's still in the works. So, the, we built a bank out of a CQB area, and in the beginning, the, the cops couldn't start for 10 minutes. And we had to go in and literally hand them a, saw, uh, a screw gun, and they had to take a wall down to break into the bank. Oh, shit. 10 or 15 uh, guards in there. And if we got them, we could hold them hostage. Man, that was great. She forgot the 10 minute rule, so three minutes into it, she <laughs> sent the cops in. I was so, so excited. I said, like, like, go, 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 go. go. <laughs> and all of a sudden, we get a shot from the sun. What is going on? <laughs> we look over, she's like, go. Oh. I'm like, oh my God, this is great. We couldn't plan it any better. <laughs> we couldn't plan it any better. It got crazy. Law enforcement yeah. never waits. If they get a tip, they're going to Hey. So why not? Why right? Not? <laughs> no, it was, it was a funny story behind that one because the bank heist, we were supposed to be able to take just the police officers that were watching the bank <laughs> hostage <laughs> until they were able to come back in, the, the, the law enforcement was able to come into the bank and take them out. So yeah. we had a whole situation and stuff like that. Guess who, who started taking hostages? He After the fact. Let me guess. He didn't want part two. Part two took the people hostages, took the police hostage. 20 or 30 minutes into the game, <laughs> I find out that she has hostages and she's trying to negotiate. I put a hit on him. I'm like, you're in the police station. How are you taking hostages when I got the hostages? <laughs> What's going on? So I had to go back there. I had these guys just sitting there for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> Like, what's going on here? I can't stay here the whole game. I'm like, yo, you guys gotta go. And I had to break it down to explain it to them. It so, was my first time oh, giving man. orders as CEO. It was my first time. Yes. And not, and then we did the shooting then in, in November, right after Halloween. Halloween. We love, like, Halloween is my favorite holiday. Yeah. So I went all yeah. in on this. And we said, instead of the walking dead, we did the shooting then. Nice. Now, I'm a real crafty guy. I don't like buying props. I like making my own. Now, if you look at the footage that we did for on our Instagram for the shooting dead, every zombie that you see there, I made by hand. Oh, shit. We had, we had our Hummer at the time, and I took zombies and I hung them off the, the Hummer like they were attacking it. <laughs> nice. I had, I had half of zombies hanging from the side, from the back of the window. Half his body, the other half was on the floor. People attacking on top of the, the truck and everything, and that was the first time we actually introduced the, the Hummer into this event. Because, you know, they, they say, well, it's only three acres, what are you doing with a Hummer in there? Like, because these kids and the people that come to our events have never been on a Hummer with airsoft guns on it. Yeah. To so them, this is, oh my God, this is great. You know, you put a, a, a 13 year old behind a minigun, and he gets just to go crazy. You gotta see the kid's face. Oh yeah. 
That's our future. Right there, that kid's never, not going anywhere. He's <laughs> not going. You know what I mean? And that was, that was one of the amazing events because we started it with two teams going up against each other just with a whole bunch of, like, a laboratory also. You had to find the vaccine before the breakout. And at the end, halfway through, there was a breakout. Mm. Then the second half, we divided everybody into 15-man teams. And you had to come go in with the Hummer versus everyone else there. So you had a 15-man team versus 85 zombies. Holy Hand- shit. Handguns and shotguns only. Oh, limited, shit. Limited ammo. And every time you shot a zombie, he would go down for 20 seconds. And then keep coming. Damn. You have to see the footage for that. I can't Talk about, anything. like, Resident Evil. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no ammo, ever. And zombies are hard as shit to kill. Needless to say, no no team reached to the third part of that, uh, that game. The zombies started getting bored. Let's put it that way. They couldn't reach it. They couldn't make it because it really, it's, you know, you think it's simple, you know, you shoot, and you, but if there was no teamwork, you were getting touched. And as soon as you got touched, you became a zombie. Yeah. So it was, you know what I mean? So it was like, oh, no problem. And they were going, they would get in the car, would stick their guns out the window, they would look away, all of a sudden one of them get touched. Now the zombies in the build, in the Hummer, and they're yeah. like, what's going on? Then the rest are getting touched. You know what I mean? Oh they my get, God. The driver would get dragged out because we we go all in with the action and one of yeah. us was yeah so if, a, if one of the zombies came up and they wouldn't shoot it it would pull me out straight out of the, the hummer and just start eating me and i had a whole bunch of zombies just jump on top of me oh you know, my just, god everybody was like oh my god they would start running the first crew didn't know what to do like they were throwing <laughs> grenades at these zombies and blowing each other up and they didn't have to eat. i'm like i'm sorry your dude threw a grenade at you trying to blow up a zombie you know what i mean and it's, it's different because it was dark. You know, all our games are basically night games because it goes into the first half is from literally 4.30 to 7.30, 8 o'clock. And in Miami, it doesn't start getting dark to 7, 8 o'clock right. in a year. And you're in the woods also. So even if the sun is still going down, right. it's still... It gets dark. Right. And so... After um, the shooting dead, we said, you know what? It's about time. It's been like six months since we've done an event, and we keep hearing it. That's how I know we, our events are good. It's right. Like, when you got our next one? You know, we come to our local field, and we have our regulars, and they're like, all right, it's time, dude. You know, you can't keep us What's waiting. Next? What are you doing next? <laughs> right. And we said, we're doing that. And I looked, and I said, you know what? We're going to bring drug wars back. We're going to literally bring drug wars back. The first drug wars, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> this is not even done. Right now, we only have 50 keys done. We have to make 90 keys. Holy we shit. Time to do. And these things take... Last time I had, it was me. It was five of us here. Took us three hours to make 50. Woo! We put it work because you got to make these hard, strong. So, because, you know, so they don't break they, apart. They don't break apart. Last yep. the first we had one guy full of flour. Yeah. Playing the game, you know, <laughs> the keys. You know, that's why we have uh, to do it. We hand it. And um, this one, the first one only had one meth lab. We had a meth lab in the center of the thing, and we had third, you know, like 50 keys that they had to keep coming in and out to get. Yeah. This one, we decided, you know what? Let's go all in. We're going to do three meth labs. Three different meth labs in three, three different locations, obviously in the center of the field running across. That way, it's a lot harder for, you know, everywhere you go, it's going to be a, a complete battle. It's going to be insane, you know, and you've got to go in there. There's going to be 30 keys in each method. So they have to go in. Cartel has to pull out each key and bring it back to their respawn. Now, the trick is you can only pull one key at a time per person. Per person. Well, try to come in with duffel bags. Okay, I'm ready. No. <laughs> right. You know, that's not happening. And the whole time that you're trying to go into these meth labs and take these keys out, you got the DEA actually raiding them. Jeez. So we're making, but as they're raiding it, for them, they're trying to confiscate. Com- confiscate. So there it is. I can say it in Cuba, but I can't say it in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> okay? So they have to try to get it and bring it back to the police station at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Only carrying one key at a time. That's the main objective in the three 
Matter of fact. Now, a lot of people don't like going for these main objectives. They just come for these games for fun. So what we do is we made 150 of these. Now, they're wrapped up money in plastic, so just in case it gets wet or whatever the case, they're going to be all over the field. So we yeah. turn it into a huge scavenger hunt. For each one of these, you get a certain amount of points in the at the end of the first evil. Okay. Now, the with these is you have to keep them on your body the whole time. You can't take them back to your respawn and drop it and say, okay, we got points, like you do with the keys. These you keep on your body until you get shot and an enemy team comes up and says, run your shit. Now, any money they have on them, they have to give it to the Oh, enemy. shit. And this happens for two and a half hours. So anything can change. And if the money's found at their respawn, it instantly gets picked up by a ref and brought back and given to the other team. Oh so my god. Putting in any money, you know, putting it away. If you don't listen to the rules, that's on you. Okay? So now how do how do they collect like where do they turn it in? What what time period do they what at the end of a timer? Yeah, or yeah, the first phase? The first evening. Okay. The first evil is usually about till seven thirty, eight o'clock, depending yeah. on the time you start. At the end of the first evil, we'll have two boxes, you turn in your money depending on what team uh, you want. We'll, that gets counted towards the points that you got towards your team in a whole. Okay? So we got the money, we got the keys, and also the um, DEA has bomb squads. Oh, okay? shit. The bomb squads, that's the, one of the other objectives, they're going to have C4. It's fake also. It's fake C4. I am not doing bomb. <laughs> yeah. It's all plastic bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? So they have a bomb squad. Their job is to try to get into the meth lab and put these on four corners. If they're able to put it on four corners, because they can't be taken off the, after they're planted, the meth lab is destroyed and they get a certain <coughs> amount of points. Oh, that's cool. If they can stop them from doing it, then cartel gets those bonus points. Okay. Now we also have, I don't know if you can see the, the cash cases. No, huh? Bring them in screen there, yeah. We have cash cases. These okay. are the weapon, like weapon cliches. We can drop these anywhere on the field at any time. They're obviously not going to be dropped off at the enemy respawn. Right. So we'll get these off and we'll let go green smoke. So people know that there's a green smoke. Oh, shit. And they'll be fighting for it. Let's secure the bag. Yeah, the dude. That's like the uh, airdrops in, uh, you know, what we rush in, uh, in the video game division, division two. That the airdrops, everybody, you see the smoke and you start booking, man. You're, you're running to go get it. We got yeah. a total of those cases, and that's all the first, just the first evil. This is everything you have to do in the first evil. Now, the DEA is already set up with a CO, they're breaking into squads. They actually had free training at the local field to go to day. And one of the one of my guys, the, the CO, actually stayed late to do free training for DEA. Whoever was playing in the game, he wants to run them to make sure they're in squads, to be able to train them a little bit and everything, and our day will be for tomorrow. She's running Cartel. My wife is the CEO for Cartel. I'm, I'm hello, playing, the godmother. I'm playing head rest. We're going to make sure everything goes well. And so she's First Dog run. Wars, they destroyed me. They they destroyed me. They laid How me dare down. they? 37 shots. I was hiding in the back bunker, and they just... Damn! Eight guns just turned on me and just opened fire. Just, I was like, oh, man, I'm dead. So, <laughs> story, drug wars money was her. I was, she was the madrina and I was the padrino. And we had another CO for the DEA. And then halfway through, she destroyed them, destroyed them. They didn't touch any keys and one left flat. She had these little kids, 12, 13 year old kids literally had a line set from the okay. meth lab all the way to respawn. So they weren't running anything back. They were literally just handing it over. And it was the funniest thing because you hear these kids, cocaine, cocaine, <laughs> young girls are handing it back. Oh and my God. Like, have we done, right? Sorry. And <laughs> they set the whole battle line back so well that they were able to do that. So I figured, okay, in the second half, after the first evil, I, I added up the scores. I'm like, this is bad. So I said, you know what? 
we're, we're having our second half and we're talking. And I ended up taking off my padrino hat, pulling out a badge. And I said I was an undercover the whole time. Oh, shit. So ended up because I did tell everybody, which I'm letting everybody know now, there will be one infiltrator in the cartel and one infiltrator in the DEA. Oh, that's cool. And everybody will know about until it's radioed in from the ref. Oh, and that's cool. In part one, I was That just made it more interesting. I just found out about this now. Yeah. That is, no, you know, that's like those, uh, the airstrikes. You call an airstrike, whatever, and the ref says, okay, whatever. But that is cool, man. That's a good idea. Like I said, I like keeping everything crazy. I like keeping everything Bro, that's crazy. cool. Spontaneous. Spontaneous stuff like that. Like, Honestly, we thought about putting real money in these. Like, because we always do raffle. We charge only $45 yeah. a ticket. And we, because of our sponsors, shout out to our sponsors, who uh, have a list out. They they give us these things because they see everything we do for the community. You know, uh, shout out to PMC Airsoft, Design to Grow, the paintball shop. We actually have a paintball shop sponsors that that, that sponsor our events. Great yeah. guys in Miami, Florida. It's called the Paintball Shop. Can't miss it. And half Airsoft. Great PBs. You have in general, check them out. And shout out to Matrix and the Try Hard team, obviously. But these guys, they, they hook us up with patches. They hook us up with batteries, lipo batteries. They hook us up with guns. They hook us up with everything that we can grenades, smokes that we yeah. have to get. Guns. You know, so you, you might spend forty five dollars, but you can walk away with a two or three hundred dollar gun. You know what I mean? That's awesome. Yeah. That makes it so, they show up and like, I want this at your first yes. event, or I want this at your second event, and it's like, yeah. you know, up with you know two hundred dollar guns, but they're, they're still using it two years later, and they're so happy with. It. Yep. You know, and we actually thought about okay, instead of doing a gun, let's take the two hundred dollars and actually put them in the the pads. So how crazy would that be that oh. we weren't going to tell anybody? We weren't going to tell nobody nothing until the end. Because once you tell somebody that something like that, yep. that causes cheating, you know, yeah. money, forget the objectives, I'm looking for this money. We were going to put ones, fives, twenties, you know, like those egg hunts. Like mix them in? Where they, I, yeah. Imagine, dude, I wish, I, I decided against it just because... What hey, you? we're live, bro. You just let it out, so you can't do it now. <laughs> no, because I decided against it anyway. But it would have been tonight. How crazy would that have been? You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe later. Maybe. Or maybe. Who knows? Things are spontaneous. Maybe things go. Better. You know what you could. You know what you could do is put uh, extra like raffle tickets, whatever you guys use for pulling, you know, numbers or whatever put extra of those in there, like tuck them in between so they don't see them just in certain packs or whatever. They don't know which ones have them. You know, you could do something like that. It gives them an extra thing, but they're not going to be cheating to get it, you know, whatever. But real cash, they'll be fighting, bro. <laughs> it's a dollar, guys, relax. It's a dollar. Oh, listen. No, they, they, they're going to get, they're going to pick one pack up. They're going to immediately start to find a 20 in there and be like, fuck this. I'm never calling my hit, bitch. Okay, I'm going to hide behind this tree for two hours. <laughs> Maybe it'll get raffled out at the end and your ticket's called and it's, you know, yeah. a suitcase. Well, with the, money. Mostly the, the, main yeah. Reason, the main reason we couldn't do it because there's 150 packets. So yeah. they have people try to open it halfway through the evolution. We only give an hour break. Right. It takes to actually do we will have That's food the reason. trucks we do have food trucks coming so it's two and a half hours straight to three hours and then depending on how soon the, the light goes down and then you have an hour break we have food trucks coming great food trucks it's a party if you guys haven't been to matrix and you're out here from miami come check it out bring because your family we, bring your family because it's a party though they won't have a, a ball a, a, it won't a be boring they'll have there's a great music time. there's food it's a hangout time. It's a great time. Yeah. To you have a great time and experience something you'll never experience again. You know, when can you, it, it's just a really good time, bro. Like that's what we are about, you know, to bring new right. people and to keep them. And this is how you do it. To introduce them to the Milsom world. Now these kids go home and they're like, oh my God, Milsom. Oh, look at this. You know, and that's how this, this sport's going to grow. Because without the young, we, we, we ain't going to have a future. Oh you yeah, know? for sure. 
old men shooting at other old men. Yeah. That can get really boring when we get really old, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, that's a funny thing. Like, as we get older, we think we're still fun because if you look at most of the people our age, you know, like guys we've worked with and stuff, they're all, like, in the rut, man. They're just, like, life is hard. I'm old. My All my joints hurt, you know? And guys like, you know, you guys and, like, myself, my wife and, all, you know, everybody I've talked with, no matter what age they are, like Toby, okay, we're all out there like, we don't give a fuck, bro. We're going to go have fun. We ain't going to sit around and be like, oh, I have to go to the doctor again for my arthritis. You know what I mean? Like, we ain't spending all day doing all kind of shit like that. We're out there getting shit done. That's it. That's it. You're only as old as your actions, man. That's yeah, it. for sure. No numbers. You know, I, and it's funny because my guys, I tell them all the time. I, instantly, I tell them in their face. You suck, you're too slow. Look at me, I'm 48 years old and I'm out running the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, damn, that's true. How's this happening? And I'm hoping if I keep telling them, they'll believe it because I'm really not that much faster than them. I just right. keep telling them, they, they, they're like, damn, I just got to try harder. Then when they start beating me, I was tired, you know, my leg hurt. That's all it was, that's the only reason. But it's to really amp them up and, you know, amp myself up to tell you the truth. Yeah. These bucks are getting faster and faster, faster and I can't do nothing about it. Which is getting pretty crazy, but this event is going to be big, and it's going to be talked about. And then the videos that are going to come out of here, I can't wait. You know, we always we have people doing videotaping. That's nobody. Everybody loves to see themselves on TV. No Absolutely. Matter, I don't want to see it. I don't, you know, we 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 showed so many videos on our Instagram, and I've gotten you know messages. Oh, can you send me that video? I'm like, oh, you like that? He's like, yeah, I'm in it. I'm like, oh, okay. I was the one getting shot. I'm like, okay, here you go. This is great. You know I mean? I'm the one who blew you guys up. Oh, great. Here you go. Yeah, there you so, go. So we love to, to to give that. So we'll have photographers out there. You know, we'll have people doing videotaping. My refs are videotaping at the same time to catch that moment where you do something amazing. We're working you know, on streaming this event live. Yeah. We'll see how it's going to go. We're still trying to work out the... the oh, Yeah. Video of that to live stream the game as it's going on so you guys can be able to watch it if we, we highly this encourage one, we... role playing he didn't mention that if you want to dress up like dea dress up dress the part all the way through hell yeah My family members you know what it is sicarios, sicarios all day, all day. Sicarios all day. <laughs> you know Nervous. you know you gotta see her like she spent a good $150 on her outfit. Yes. Like, oh my God. You yes, know? I am the godmother. I am the queen of the cartel. So, yes. Oh, I shit. Part. I shall look the part. She looked like Mrs. T. She I look like, like Mrs. T. Oh, my God. I'm like, wow, okay. Be like the, uh, have you seen that show, uh, Queen of the South? Yes. 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 It's yes. a good show. I, I just got into it. I just got yeah, into yeah. it. So, I'm not about that. I'm Hell yeah. taking it, in from it a lot. Right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, this is cool. We got uh, Hell Yeah Airsoft just joined the uh, chat. What's up? Hi, What's yeah. up? We've got, uh, let's see. Let me see who I can see on here. Hell man? Yeah, Call Sign Spirit. Uh, we'll say hi to all these people real quick. The Real Lado. Uh, Hefe Airsoft. Yeah, yeah, one of our sponsors. Sponsor, yeah, see you on Saturday. Oh, you know, hefe. Okay, hell yeah. That's one of our sponsors. That's one of our event. sponsors for the event. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, it looks <laughs> like uh the real Lado Ladeo Lado. I don't know. That's uh he said he's gonna be on Cartel. Yeah, cool. let's go. Yeah. yeah. According to her, the winning. Oh, season. Juju. He says Juju. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my general, main general, right there. Him and his father, O, are my two generals. If you do, if you haven't met them, please be sure to get out to Matrix early, guys. Matrix does get packed for our events. The front main parking area, the other side area, and even outside. So please be sure to get there. Make sure to ask for O and Juju so that they can fill you in if you haven't tuned in. I will be having a Zoom meeting on Monday night, and if you can't join that, I need you at Matrix tomorrow at 2. 
Shout out to 941 Tactical. 941 Tactical, yes. Just other great in, time. Yeah, just checked in. Yeah, I was going to say, you see it. Okay. My dude, just, I'm going to put this out there for DEA. My DEA dude just got 38 grenades. Boom, right? boom, boom, I mean, boom. You know, oh. 20 grenades for a two and a half hour event. <laughs> Shit. They're bringing the boom. We're it's going to be a fire. blast. <laughs> they're definitely bringing the blue, they can't wait. You know, that's awesome, man. Crazy to have a following like this. That they, they're there. You know, these guys like they play with us. Nine four one South played with us in North versus and South, and they're driving over four and a half hours for a local event. Yeah, shout out to them. You know that that Thank humbles you. that humbles us. Thank you. You know what I mean? They've never been to any of our events, but they run with us. And yeah, like yo, events or anything like that. You guys run like. This, I can't, you can't miss it. And it's great because these, these are great guys. You know, I met them online and I played with them and I'll have them, if they're behind me, I'll never worry about anything again, bro. And that's the best part about Airsoft. I'm you not run into these people, You run into these people <laughs> that you know they're going to be your people for a long time, bro. The right. <laughs> so I if somebody's... It. If somebody is not aware of this, but they live in that kind of area uh, and they could get to this event, uh, how do they get info, more info, or who do they talk to? They t contact you guys yeah. or uh, Matrix? Instagram, DM us straight up. Um, Tryhards underscore Twitter. Airsoft. You got it on Instagram. And if not, just show up the day of the event. Yeah, we will have a couple Ask for walk on. you will see me at the check-in booth. We and have a couple we'll walk-on tickets available. We always put some aside because we have an 80-person cap, but in reality, it's it's always, you know, I'd rather have my, my team sit out then have somebody that wants to play the event sit up. Right. I mean, usually have my guys jump in to make sure the teams are evened out. You know, I know most of the teams that come in, so I like evening out the team. I'll ask some team, why don't you come over here? Because if not, it's going to be super upset. Offset. You yeah. Know, and I have my regulars come in, and I'm like, this guy's good. You know, he's going to play on this team. Matt, which is running the CEO, I don't think he's the manager of Matrix. Matrix. Incredible great player. Great dude, great Incredible player. player. Yes. And he's running the CO, and I'm kind of worried about you it. You guys know? couldn't have had a better leader to lead you against this battle against me. Yeah. Who better? If it couldn't be my husband, <laughs> then yes, definitely I'll take Matt. And it's funny, <laughs> this is the first compliment she gives all weekend for the last three weekends. <laughs> the last three weekends, she has been insulting every DEA player that yes. she can see. Yes. She's been telling them how bad she's going to beat their ass. And I'm just behind her like, no. No, no, <laughs> don't do that. No, you got, got thirty-one shots last year. How many shots do you think you're gonna get this? Oh year? shit! Right. I'm bringing the boom. Come at me. Hey, you better wear a juggernaut suit, woman. <laughs> oh, I love it. Bring it on. Bring on the heat. Let's go. It's a positive thinking. I'm just like, don't do it. I'm a Cuban mafiosa. What can I say? You know? You're going to have to back it up. That's all I'm saying. Born in Jersey, raised in Miami my entire life. I came down on a six months old. So, yes, Miami girl for life. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't yeah, wait. It's, it's going to be a fun event. It's going to be one hell of an event. Honestly, I just. So, just, uh, if, there's, uh, if there's somebody that hasn't bought a ticket and they show up, you mentioned about the uh, the role playing and all these different things that they could do. So let's say somebody's fairly new, or they're you know they don't even know about the event, but they show up to that field and they're like, oh shit, I want to play, you know, or I want to do something here. Uh, so they can just do the walk on ticket or you know whatever. They can kind of fit in wherever, uh, or they could do a role playing type of uh, role as well, right? Correct. They can be my traffickers. They can be undercover. Okay. For police, you know, they can do everything. Also, they might want to get to Matrix early because Matrix does have some guns for rental that they do offer for rental. So if they do not have a gun and they see it and they want a red one, they can also do that there too. And what are the what do they rent? Uh, so you get the uh, gun, the mask, and some BBs. The vest. Uh, I think it's one. They, rent, mag, they one get a gun. They get a vest and they get a mask for twenty five dollars. Oh, that ain't bad. Yeah, oh, that's great. 25 bucks, gun, vest, mask, and then you buy a, a bottle of BBs. For 15 bucks. And you're ready to go. That's it. You're playing for the whole event. You know what I mean? And then we charge 25, I mean, 45 bucks for the event. And you have a blast. Now, do they have to do, um, if somebody like that showed up, you know, that didn't know about the event or doesn't, you know, have the all the right uniform, do they have to have a specific, like, DA or 
cartel uniform or is there a patch or something they have to wear? That's the thing, like, that's why I specifically for DEA, you just have to wear black, just the top and bottom. Gotcha. Load up, it doesn't matter, but as long as your top and your bottom is wearing black, you're considered DEA. The cartel, I left it open. So it's literally, you can wear any, any um, camera you want, or you can dress up as a cartel member and wear anything you want, but black or red. Gotcha. Red, you're dead. Dead you're red, up. yeah. And then black is because it's DEA. So no, so if you're cartel, no black, but anything else, jeans and a t-shirt, you know, whatever. Contractor style, Sicario, I'm expecting a lot of, you know, Mexican hats and all. You know, the better yeah. thing, you know, get it out there. I want to see this. I want to bring out the uh, Miami Vice suits and ties yeah. and, yes. the, you know, pink, pink shirts, pink dress shirts. <laughs> yes, it's the whole word. You need to have a nice backdrop set up, you know, we'll have all the props out before we put it out. And we get there around 11 o'clock in the morning, so the field is still open, and we have this whole big thing set up. We're like, what's going on? You know, we'll have the Hummer out there sitting there with everybody on top so you can take pictures and everything. Like I said, it's a party. You know. Oh, that's a good uh, – so that's a good point. So the, the event doesn't start until close to sundown, right, like 7-ish? No, no, no. Okay. We start, we start at 4 o'clock. Oh, four. Okay. Go over the safety briefings and all that. That's why I want to have everybody as there as early as possible to do the the chrono wing and signing the waivers and signing. Yeah. To make sure you get your raffle ticket. A lot of people, it's airsoft, so there's always the last minute signing. Oh, let me let right. Go through the chrono. We gotta go through signing. Then yep. let, other than that, because I, I'm I'm huge on safety. You know, so when could somebody, how early could somebody get to the field where you guys are going to be there with all this extra stuff, like you said, like By noon? By 11 a.m. we're there. Gotcha. We, all, we, started, we started checking people in by 12, 1 o'clock. You, you know, said they could do uh, show up early, get pictures with, you know, you guys, with the Hummer, the you know, the technical. Um, plus the field is open, you know what I mean? So if you want to go and uh, play a couple rounds, you can play for the field. And you want to take a walk around, like I invited the teams that come early, you know, between games, I can take them on a tour of the, the, the whole the whole spot, the whole yeah. place. You know, you know, a lot of people. Oh, that's are, cool. My guys are coming down for four hours away. I told them, come on down early. That way I can send you a tour. My my wife can take you out there and actually show you the routes that you should run and all that. Maybe getting a little training before and you know, and stuff like that. We love to help people out to make sure they have a good time. I don't ever want yeah. to you have to respond and see somebody out there behind not knowing what to do. You know, we get those people involved. If I see yeah. you, I make sure you get on a squad. If you're new to the team, I get you on the best squad I can to make sure you're having a blast and you're protecting and you're, you're moving forward. These games are all about because if you're standing still, you're going to say, dude, I don't know, this game sucked. In reality, maybe you didn't do as good as you should have, but right. you didn't know you're new. So we make sure we put you in that so you can have that one epic moment. Because you can play a four-hour game, but if you don't have that one epic moment that you did something, you're going to say it sucked. But if you have that one epic moment, it can be three minutes long. You're going to talk about that until the next event. <laughs> right. And if I hand you a video of that of that moment, oh, my God, it's a lifetime moment. Oh, yo, check this out. Check this out. And that does nothing but give us, you know, more hype. You know, I want to get to the point one day where we're making bigger events and everybody knows what it is, but we're making a local event and everybody's like, sold out in one week, you know what I mean? And they know what to expect. Because I, if I go big on one of my events, I'm only going to go bigger. There's no going smaller. I can't go smaller because that's our name that's involved. Hell yeah. You try harder. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. So is there a way, I was trying to look on your Instagram or your YouTube, <clears throat> by the way, anyone watching or anyone who watches this later, uh, if you are not subscribed to the YouTube channel, go check it out. They've got some really good gameplay stuff and definitely get on their Instagram. They've got uh, Laz and these guys are always posting some really cool shit on their Instagram. They've got almost 7,000 followers on uh, Instagram and uh, their YouTube channel is linked uh, in there as well. Um, but what I was going to ask you is, do you guys have a way for somebody like myself or somebody that's not in that area that could, you know, buy a ticket and show up to the event? Is there a way for uh, somebody to support your events or what you're doing? Do you have like a donate button or a, uh, something they could set up for that? 
or buy a patch or something? That hasn't been set up yet. We, we're actually talking about uh, doing like sh- shirts and clothes. Like yeah, that. We, we're, we have a couple of things in the works coming up for this year. We've got yeah. hard merchandise coming up. We're going to have the website coming up. Um, we just officially got trademarks. So you're going to be seeing a lot of the tryhards, you know, start doing videos, start just go mainstream. We're going to take it mainstream. Yeah. We're going to take the sport mainstream and the sky's the limit with this. So yeah, so absolutely. Stick around because it's only going to get bigger and better. It's only going to get bigger and better. Well, that's, that is cool. I, uh, I was excited to uh, get on with you guys because uh, I've been seeing these posts over the last week and a half always come up. And honestly, I didn't realize because I was focused on doing that podcast with Toby and those guys and then uh, and works, you know, busy at work and stuff. And I was like, I see them during the day and I'm like, oh, OK, they're going to another event. They're going to another event. And I'm like, wait a minute. That's I think that's their event. I don't know. You know, like it looks like. Well, then when I did the podcast with them, Steve was like, yeah, that's their event. I was like, oh, shit. OK, so. Just, uh, what was it, yesterday? I texted you about doing a podcast about it to get the word out. That's great, man. I appreciate everything you do for us and for this community, man. Oh, for sure, man. My infidels called me and they are like, oh, man, that's a, that's a great dude. Toby told me that you guys went like shipped out at the same time. It was from the same That's place. nuts. Dude, how small. How- Is that crazy? So we're to- I never knew about this guy. I met those guys from you guys and then we get on there and as he starts talking i said something about he said about his age and i said well well you guys watched it or listened to it so you know i was like it it just kind of spontaneously came up and he's like wait a minute brother you left in october of 89 i went in october of 89 i was like what and then we both grew up in ohio like we were at meps we had to be at meps at the same time you know up in cleveland to ship out for uh, boot camp, it's pretty crazy. Uh, but I gotta tell you, since I met you guys and then those guys, it has totally changed my outlook on, uh, like, m- my mission for what I'm doing with the podcast and who I'm meeting and stuff. Like, it is. Uh, I was fucking motivated, bro. With talking to Toby, this guy, bro. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I want to go to Kentucky and hang out with him for a couple of days. Uh, you should. Oh, you're going to love it. it that amazing. guy can motivate anyone. His words, he's, he's been through yeah. so much. Yeah. He, Good he, dude. He, his heart is bigger than his body. He probably weighs 90 pounds wet. Sorry, Toby. <laughs> I told you this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been great. But, uh, yeah, man, you guys, uh, and obviously that doesn't take, an away, take away from all the people I've talked with. Like, this is uh, – all the things I've you know, talked about and, and kind of this podcast started as a spontaneous, like, I don't know what else to do on this channel, so let's talk to people kind of thing, <clears throat> has grown to being more and more, like, sucked into this community of, like, honorable people that I'm just fucking blown away by. And, uh, and then you guys, you know, you, you guys are a married couple that are into this, like, 100% together. And when I saw your videos, yeah, baby, I'm telling you, man, it's awesome. It's very inspiring. So since talking to a handful of people and you guys as well, and of course, Toby and Steve and Robo, very, very inspirational uh, kind of people and character, you know, just honor and commitment and all the shit that is just like bringing all and, and understands the big picture of Airsoft. Like, hey, we need younger players to be in here because this is the next wave you know it's the future of it to keep the sport going uh really cool thing yeah (laughs) (laughs) i'm saying bro oh listen by that time you'll have one of these young kids uh 3d print you a a wheelchair that's like full electric you know goes like 30 miles an hour and just swivels on a dime, you know, and has machine guns automatic on. <laughs> yeah, it's a, like Can't it's amazing. Wait. You know, we talk about this community, and airsoft was how as new it is because it just started getting really big. You know, five six years ago, I've been right. there for so long, but it wasn't that huge of a community. But it's always been a tight community. 
Yeah. You know, funny how, you know, we start talking about the people that you meet in this, and five years later, you're still playing or talking to these people about airsoft. Yeah. It brings the craziest people together. Because you got to be kind of crazy to play something like this. Nobody, you got to like pain. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You got to like pain, and you got to kind of like the commitment that it asks you for, the involvement, the, the LARPing, you know? And you got to, it takes a certain person. And when you meet a person like that, you want to just hang out with that person. It's something yeah. about it. it makes you tight. And it can be somebody you just met, and all of a sudden you play with them two or three times, all of a sudden they're your best friend. Because that's what happened. Me and Toby, oh, that's that's one of my guys. That's like, that's family family. Like my right. people. You know? I've been in this for so long that I, you know, I'm not the type that, that, that likes, I teach, but I'm always learning. And that person has taught me so much by yeah. not even trying to get it, which is amazing. When you can meet somebody like that, they can actually make you a better person. That's the person you got to stick to. Yeah, man. It's a big deal. It's hard to find. It's hard to find. Yeah, it's it's definitely uh, different than it used to be when, you know, people like you and me and Toby and, you know, were growing up in that era where we had kind of, you know, we, we didn't have social media. We didn't have internet. We didn't have all this shit. So... We had to go out and meet people. Now, we might have gotten involved in the wrong crowd sometimes, but you still learn something along the way. You learn something about yourself, right? You get over some fears, you know, like you, you kind of grow up a lot faster than than nowadays, you know, where most people are kind of sitting in the house meeting people like kind of like this, you know, but uh, they don't have those role models like face to face like we had, you know people that you kind of looked up to i mean that's why i went in the marine corps these guys that my dad hung out with my dad was navy these guys that come over and tell their war stories you know they were all ex-marines like i'm like dude i hear all this shit and about honor and commitment and pulling guys off the field like all this i'm like dude that's what i want to do right there you know i want to be a part of something bigger like that you know be involved in something that's hard work that's commitment and uh and it's funny that some of the, you know, like we talked last time, the uh, like some of the veterans get kind of irritated with the airsofters that have ranks or have patches or have whatever. And that, but this is exactly what is helping a lot of those veterans work through those issues coming back from the war. Like this is the main, you know, a big thing that they're, uh, you know, once they get involved, yeah, they've got a purpose. They've got friends. The camaraderie brotherhood yeah absolutely yep oh uh, say what's up to hilly boy excuse me hillbilly airsoft that's my people hillbilly airsoft hell yeah what's up man you guys man good people out there as well yeah i met new friends and everybody you know what's great that like they share you know if they know how to do come go hang out with these guys these guys are yeah. great you know, you're always going to meet somebody. And I, li I like taking advantage of meeting some people. When I meet the right person, I like taking advantage of it. And I get to share them. I got to make sure, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, this, this is my best friend. He's good people. Don't talk to him. You know what I mean? Don't do that. Don't do that. If you're a good person, <laughs> share with the world, brother. Share with the world because there's not that many good people left. Right. You know, there's not that many good people left. You share with them. He ain't going nowhere. Trust me. You know? <laughs> that's another great thing about Arizona, man. Yeah. yeah. You listen, I'm going to keep doing it because it is a good thing. Oh, yeah. You guys got a good thing going, man. And, uh, you know, you, you'll definitely get uh, a lot more people following you because of these events and getting the word out. Uh, it is – it's cool, man. I mean, seeing all the stuff you got there and all the work that you guys put into these events to make it fun, you know, and you know you have experience. Like you're talking – putting. I'm going to tell you the best thing, this idea of putting an infiltrator on each team. That is awesome. Game changer. Game and the thing changer. is, letting them know up front, like at the beginning, letting them know there is one person on your team. You, no one knows. No one. Everyone's going to be looking, bro. Like, oh, that's going to be so cool. Yeah. So are you guys... Anytime when he pulls out that badge, that's it. He has to turn. Cartel, wherever you are, I'm having your head. Oh, that's awesome. So uh, when you guys, are, when you do, like, if you guys are going to figure out how to live stream uh, either parts of it or the whole thing or whatever, is that going to be live streamed on your Instagram or YouTube or both? 
That's one of the things that we actually got to figure out. Gotcha. Like, okay. Stay tuned, we'll, we'll put we will we'll be announcing it and stuff like that. You know, like the technology thing when you're out in the woods, especially. Yeah. You got to have the internet out there to make sure something is start putting. Together. We were at when we were at Stonebreaker. I know. I tried to go live when we were out by you know when I was over by the helicopter pad. Nope. It said fuck you. Uh, I had to walk all the way over by the uh, the Quonset huts or whatever you know those uh, trailers, yeah. the, those trailers that you could rent out, um, all the way in the back, uh, behind like the driveway or whatever the dirt driveway. That was the only spot they had Wi-Fi, and I had to stand over there. And then I went live a couple times, you know, just like ten minutes. But uh, because the Wi-Fi wasn't great, but that was like the only spot I could do. Everything else I had to like just record. Did you ever make it up to the rooftop? No. Yeah, that, that, was, that would have been another spot. For yeah. You. That was another, oh, that has an. Oh, okay. GTI is just you know it used to be a nuclear plant, so that's all. Yeah. You know that place, you know. It's out in the it's middle awesome. of nowhere, bro. You know. That's why. But once we figure all that the kinks in that, it'd be great. You know. Um, well, hell yeah, man. One shout out that I got to throw out there, another yeah. good person in Aerosol, and I actually want to hook you up with so you can do a podcast, is a guy named Papa, okay? Now, he runs Dead End Outfitters. They do events, and they're up, up north. His name is not Papa. His name is Greg. His name is Papa. I call him Papa. Papa, I do not. That's my people. That's it, okay? That's my Papa. And my man is five feet. I love you. Five feet. <laughs> <laughs> but he has a heart of a, at least two uh, feet. A, a, no, a hundred feet. A hundred feet. I suck at that. You know, this guy, <laughs> thing that we do for airsoft. Once you beat them, you yeah. know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, shout out to them. They're doing a great job. And if they keep going with the doing with the community, it only makes the community. Anybody that can come bring something positive to this community, because there's more than enough people bringing the negative. You know, negative is what sells. Negative is what people want to sell. Oh, yeah. Do. I and know. Oh my God, it's a million views in, in Airsoft, you know? Start bringing the positive up and you'll see the right people are going to be doing the following, the right people are going to be doing the views and the likes. And that's yeah. what you want. We only need 100,000. We only need 10,000. But you know what? Yeah. The right people are doing that. They're going to be more committed than the people just checking out your fights. Now, who's the uh, Papa? What What is he? Um, he has a retail or he has a, he sells. They actually have a team. They run events and they actually own the store. Okay, they own a store in. Oh man, I want to tell you. Up north. Up north, <laughs> Florida. I'm so sorry, Papa. I should be doing my homework. And they actually hit me up and they actually offered to sponsor our events from now on. That's one of the events. One of the. What's um, What's the name of his store again? Let me. We're actually gonna look it up right now. Oh, okay. Because I I didn't hear you the first time. Papa, put in the chat. Dead end outfitters? No, yes. Dead end outfitters. Dead it? Dead end outfitters. Oh, dead end. Gotcha. All right, we get, we're going to put this in the chat real quick. Yes. I hope that's it. No, it's definitely going to help. He's going to have check out. No, because there's a clothing brand that's similar to that. So that's why I'm like, wait a minute. Yes, it is. Something is there? Oh, uh, well, shit. Hope I didn't put the wrong thing in. Hey, if you guys want to sponsor the Tryhard team, you know we're always looking for you. Hey, there you go. Could be a could be a good mistake here. I don't know. (laughs) Let me hit him up. This is gonna be so fun. Let's call him live. Call him. Call him Greg. Greg. Oh shit! Here we go. This is like a live radio show, baby. Come on. Call up somebody and surprise him. They run an actual live broadcast themselves oh, on Facebook. What's up, Mr. Greg? Give me a second. We're doing a podcast. Hi, Papa. Go ahead. You continue talking. So Hi, they, they run their, 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 their live streams on hey, when they run their live stream. Uh, when do you run your live stream? But, so he has a what, YouTube channel? No, he has a um, on every Facebook other Wednesday. every other Wednesday. And it's called the- Airsoft yeah. is Dead. Which is a gotcha. great people and all dead, they, they, dead they talk end. all positive stuff. Yes, yeah, so it is Dead End Outfitters. Got, and got it. That's the name of the store is Dead End Outfitters. Like okay. To them, the end of Airsoft. The end of Airsoft. <laughs> I have Papa on the phone. So, Papa, if you're watching, yes, look at yourself on the phone. Yeah. yeah. 
So what we're gonna do is I'm I want you to I'm gonna give you his info so you can reach out to him because that's someone you have to talk to about yourself. Like I said before, just like I feel about Toby, that's another one right there. He's doing yeah. what everyone should be doing for yourself. Okay? It's a great spot, it's a great great people is what makes this, this sport as good as it is. You know, Absolutely, when I got man. The right person, and when I get out of it, I got to make sure I leave the right people behind. Right. Great, you know, just a shout out to them. I needed to do that, obviously. Um, what else? Honestly, like everything about the event, we are going to do a live tomorrow at 4 o'clock to give the, the stories that's going to be on our Instagram to give the actual story. The op order. The op order, the safety briefing. All of the, oh, you guys are doing a live stream on that? Yeah, we're doing a live stream. On your tomorrow. Instagram? Yes, on our Instagram at the, um, the actual field. You know, my wife is dying to put her outfit on, so we might have her in outfit. <laughs> Yes. yes. As well. I'm dying for a You know. Oh, dude, if you see our outfits, like, check out our Instagram. We check out Money Heist, and you'll see I dressed up as the pros the professor. Yeah. Very yeah. Spanish version of the professor. It was amazing. <laughs> oh, Nobody recognized me until I spoke. You know. I had oh, that's it. funny. It was to the T. You know. But like I said, we go all in. You know, you meet us, you know why. We were kind of crazy. Oh yeah. I love it, man. Well, uh, so tomorrow at what 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 time did you say? Four o'clock. Eastern Standard. Eastern Standard. Yep, four o'clock yeah, yeah. Eastern. You'll you'll be on live on Instagram. Uh, anyone watching or watches this between now and and tomorrow at that time, uh, check out their Instagram. I'll put a link as well, and uh, and a countdown timer thing for your Instagram uh, live event. Yep, that looks awesome. Now, who did the? Uh, all this is that your or who did the artwork for that our guy that's one of our First sponsors, sponsors uh, design to design grow, to grow. please check him out on instagram great great guy he does shirts he does banners the big banners, the big behind banners. Us. Okay. And he can design anything car wraps. Does business cards he does car wraps great company to check out great guy okay hell yeah so let him know who sent you um what else you need to know, brother? Yeah, like, do you, is there anyone else you want to uh, shout out? And also, uh, just like last time, if you um, if you want to send me the list, I can tag all these people in Instagram posts, like tonight or tomorrow, whatever. Uh, you know, because we're live now. This ain't coming out in like a couple days. This is it. <laughs> so, but okay, well, I can ready? also go back through and and tag all this. Right. Every one of my member, every one of my tryhards. You guys know who you are. I'm not gonna yeah. go down the freaking list. Love you guys. Thank you for standing by me. Sometimes I know I can be a pain. A pain you know, you when he gets hey. popcorn, we all know how he turns. It's not the good old fun lads you see here. You know, we get the <laughs> little back there. She all do it. I'm like, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know? It's okay, monsters. Do not bring a monster, guys. Despite whatever he says, keep him away from monsters. You know? Oh, I love him. Oh, man. No, you don't even know. <laughs> love fusion. That's what. Um, I got a shout out to Sasa Airsoft. Please go follow him and subscribe on YouTube. He's going to kill me if I don't do it. Drop Airsoft. They're starting their speed QB. They are nasty players only for being Wilson players going into speed QB. Nice. Great job, guys. You keep it up. Check out their videos. You can't go wrong with them. And all my... Yeah, you know, my hard. Hard. Good man. job. You always keep going what you're doing, man. Hell yeah. What else? That's it's been great, man. I uh, Thank you so much for being on here. Um, we'll tag all this... Oh, God. <laughs> all right, wait, 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 wait. Just to top it off, we got all this cash, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Hold on, make it rain. We're doing it. Let's get these kilos. Let's get these kilos. Their one little mess lab. Little do they know we are coming for all three. Those kilos are mine. Mine. Let's go, well, Bertano. Viva la familia! It sounds like uh, whoever shows up to this event better be ready to play hard, okay? Yeah, because, uh, 
you're going to get some uh, going into this. Oh, yeah. Gonna have grenades hanging off my gold chains. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be pretty insane. We love, we, we like the experience. We like to give them that. Oh my god, have that thrill, that adrenaline. I wasn't rush. ready for this one. You know what I mean? Why right. You know? Hell yeah. Well, listen, guys, it's been awesome. Uh, I can't wait for the event, but we will definitely, uh, I'll be posting as long, you know, like adding whatever you guys add to your story, I add to mine and get the word out there. Thank you. Appreciate and, uh, you know, and I'll make, you know, post this, uh, you know, the link to this so everybody can find out info on uh, on what you guys are doing. It's awesome what you're doing. I appreciate you guys doing what you're doing in the airsoft community and, of course, your immediate family and getting everybody involved and, you know, building that team, that camaraderie. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, man. Thanks for yeah, having buddy. me. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, absolutely. Good night, everybody. Good night. See you you guys have a good one. All right, everybody, go check them out. If you're in the area, sign up for their event and go head out there and either kick some ass and take some drugs from the cartel. <laughs> either way, get out there and try hard, okay? All right, guys. Love you, man. Love you guys.